A forward slip entails applying rudder to put the airplane into a skid. At the same time, opposite aileron is applied to bank the wings in the opposite direction, along with some up elevator to offset the turning effect of the rudder, thereby keeping the plane tracking in a straight line. Slips are typically performed at lower air speeds, and therefore it is important to review how to recognize when an airplane is approaching a stall. Stalling the airplane while cross-controlling the rudder and aileron and holding in a lot of up elevator can be a recipe for a spin. No matter what type of plane you're flying or what the wind is doing, a stall is preceded by needing to pull more and more elevator. So while it is normal to have to hold in some up elevator to keep the airplane on line and control altitude during a forward slip, if it becomes necessary to keep adding more and more to hold the preferred flight path or altitude, the plane is likely getting too slow. At which point you will have to increase the throttle setting to avoid entering a stall. The secret to executing forward slips is to pin the rudder stick full left or right and fly the plane with the right stick. You will need to compensate for the rudder effect by keeping the wings banked in the opposite direction, while holding in some up elevator to maintain straight and level flight. Forward slips are easier to perform when the plane is banked toward you, and performed on low rates with no more than 30 degrees of rudder deflection. As a rule, the faster the airplane is flying, the more you'll have to bank the wings to keep the plane from turning and or climbing due to the increased rudder authority. If too fast, the maneuver essentially becomes a knife edge. Conversely, only a moderate bank is required at slower airspeeds. At first, err on the safe side and use approximately one quarter to one half throttle. Then, as your proficiency and confidence increases, use slightly less power each time until you achieve the sweet spot with the wings banked between 30 to 60 degrees. Once you're proficient at maintaining constant altitude forward slips, practice descending forward slips in preparation for when you need to induce a steeper landing approach or to scrub off excess airspeed. The execution is no different, except the throttle will be closed and you will allow the plane to descend while you adjust the aileron and elevator to track the runway centerline. Start higher at first and practice several descending slips, holding each slip a little closer to the ground before going around. When ready to land, Smoothly remove the slip inputs when the plane is close to the ground. 